Hi guys, welcome back to part two of the construction of the TU8100 LE kit. Now we're going to build, well, populate unit two, this one. Same size actually, than the other one, but not as much going on, I don't think. So, a bunch of resistors. So I'll just go through those. Take them. All the resistors have been populated, put in place. So I'm just gonna solder those up. So all the resistors soldered in place. So FET, same again as last time, you have to bend it back and solder it onto the solder plate there. Do the solder plate first. Like that. Okay. So here we've got short posts. So this is for jumpers. That's that. They can fall out, so I'm just getting them sorted straight away. So if you read the PCB there, it says there's, a, there's, a, there's options to use the ECL86 or the PCL86. So I know that ECL86 takes 6.3 volts on the AC heaters, whereas the PCL86 takes 12.6. So that's probably why the jumpers are there. We are using these, the um, PCL86. So we're going to put the jumpers in, in the right place, which is the first two. Pop. And pop. Done. And we got the film cap C2, C1, which I believe are these. Yep. So that's that. Push them down on their side so you can see the text there. And we've got the remaining electrolytics. It's a 4.7, that one, that one, and that one. 4.7250 volt, 4.7250 volt. C9, C10. Long, long lead is a positive. So these have to lie on their side. So, push them down, like so. C3, four, five, and six. That's that done. Bum 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 bum. Foul bases. 
They can only go in one way, these nine B9As, because there's a space between the first and the ninth. Right, I'm going to solder these in. Cool. LEDs. So with these, you've got the cathode and the anode clearly explained there. Socket cross section. Insert the LED in the center hole of the PCB from back. What? Oh, bizarre. That's cool. So the LED goes through the, the actual valve base, the center part. So K and A shown there. K is the shorter one. So pop it in. So that well, to make the valve look like it's lit. So PCB terminals, which is this thing, but install from the back side of the PCB. So it goes in there. Cool. Also these nice RCA inputs. So white goes in there. Snaps in. Good. Right, so make sure they're flush before you solder them in. Done. Volume control. So they provide you with two boards. One's called the spare. There's your volume pot. Pop it in there. I've got to say that, that unit two is complete now. So, there you go. Very straightforward. Go. Cool. Just on the pot there, pop it in the board. And then you've got unit four, which is this one. So, fits into there like that. Tighten it up. As you can see here, the tracks come together so you're gonna to have to solder that. So you can see that they're joined up like that. Brilliant. Flying through this. Then it's got a bit of a diagram of what you've just done. The boards, I'm just gonna do a quick check to make sure I've got the electrolytics the right, right way around. So I'm looking for the positive is not near the, 
the white bar end. Good, 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 good. Sorry. Good, good. Good, good. Good. Brilliant. Cool, that's great. So now I'm doing some mechanical stuff. Just before I sign off, I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos. Like and subscribe, and follow us on all the social network platforms. See you later.